Hey guys, what's going on? Jeff here from Films at Home, back with another 4K review. Today, we're going to check out the absolute 80s classic, The Goonies. <laughs> everyone so thanks for coming back to the channel today for this 4k review sorry for the delay on videos life got a little crazy in the last week work stuff came up but i'm back i've got some awesome 4k reviews and today i got a package from warner brothers which included the goonies as well as beetlejuice and the two robert downey jr jude law sherlock holmes movies so i have lots to review on 4k as well as that hitchcock collection that's coming out and some other really cool videos in a continuation of my boutique blu-ray series so tons of stuff coming so apologies for the delay on this video now the goonies this is the 35th anniversary of the goonies it came out in 1985 and so for the 35th anniversary warner brothers decided to do a new 4k blu-ray release for home entertainment physical media there is this standard release which i have as well as a 35th anniversary edition gift set which is kind of cool but runs you about 60 bucks so we're going to jump into this review talk about the video the audio some of the special features and a little bit about the packaging and overall let you know whether this is worth upgrading from your current dvd or blu-ray up to 4k so first let's start with the visuals and the goonies this was shot on 35 millimeter it was in 1985 which i think was really like a, a sweet spot for movies this is maybe the quintessential 80s movie right this movie alone the goonies has inspired so many other movies so many tv series like stranger things that especially and that whole kind of 80s nostalgia like stuff that's been coming back lately we've seen a lot of that attributed to movies like et and the goonies and all these spielberg like 80s classics back to the future and all these other things like that so the goonies is really like one of the most famous movies in american history and one of the biggest movies of the 80s not only is it a family kind of friendly movie but it's a movie you can watch again and again and even after these 35 years it still holds up really well has some really big name actors in it who eventually you know went on to do bigger and better things than the goonies or maybe not in some cases but um you know very recognizable names and characters and an absolute classic american movie so given that the movie was shot on 35 millimeter warner brothers was able to do a 4k restoration so they could take these uh, original 35 millimeter prints the negatives they can go and work on those in the lab and pump out a 4k digital version to release on physical media so that's kind of the process behind that but that often does give us the best picture now i've seen other transfers from warner brothers which have been great and they've got a really solid reputation so far at least in my eyes for 4k releases so i was obviously very excited about the goonies and from the opening scenes, it was really impressive. The quality and detail and just overall look and feel of the movie, it almost felt like a movie that had been shot in the last five years. It almost felt like one of these movies like It or like Stranger Things or, you know, some of these movies and TV shows that have kind of built off of this sort of idea of you know the kids going on an adventure and all that. The way that those look and feel where you get the 80s vibe but it's shot very cleanly in, you know, in the last five years. It looks really good. The movie looks great. And the opening, you know, 25, 30 minutes are fairly bright, as bright as they get for the area of the country they're in. But those moments are some of the best of the movie is, is the first 30 minutes and maybe the last 20 minutes where they're sort of outside and there's a little more light to work with. Things are crisp and look amazing. The film grain is like barely there now it's there i didn't see any digital noise reduction the film grain is there but it's so finely detailed like they clearly had a very good negative to work with because it is really sharp and everything looks great hdr coloring everything looks really good the issues i ran into the, with the visuals were once they get into sort of the underground into the caves into their full-on adventure and that's where things got really really dark and that's sort of it's one thing you can run into with hdr and i did notice that you know comparing this uh watching it on my projector and then watching it on a tv that's going to have you know better black levels in the projector the tv looked better but it's still a really dark picture and that's 
HDR does that sometimes, gives you a darker picture. And then The Goonies is a fairly dark movie for most of it. And I did struggle a little bit. This is not the type of movie that you probably would be able to watch in a well-lit room on 4K and really be able to make everything out. You're gonna wanna have your room pitch black. You're gonna wanna have a really solid like OLED TV or something with really deep black levels. Otherwise, it does get a little dark and muddy and there were scenes where I was a little distracted by how everything kind of blurred together. But once I watched this again in a much darker environment and I got it pitch black and you know everything, I kind of played with the projector even a little bit and recalibrated it for this movie to make the brightness a little bit higher, play with the HDR settings and that seemed to help a lot. Now, this only has HDR10, so it doesn't have Dolby Vision, HDR10+, plus, any of those like more advanced HDR uh, codecs, so maybe that could have helped. I'm not really sure. I'm not an expert in that stuff. All I know is it was a little dark. It was a little gray and black and muddy, um, but if you can get around that and you can watch it in that perfect environment, this is a really clean looking image. So I'm not knocking it, but you need to make sure you watch it the right way. And if you can't do that, you're probably better off with a Blu-ray that's going to be, um, those scenes are a little bit brighter and a little bit easier to make out on the Blu-ray because the HDR doesn't get those deep, deep blacks that it's getting on the 4K. Now for audio on this, I was hoping for something like an Atmos or an advanced you know, audio track. We do have a DTS HD Master Audio 5.1, but it's the same that was available in the Blu-ray, so nothing was really upgraded there. Now the audio, as it was in the Blu-ray is pretty good. Also fairly inconsistent on the center channel, but that has more to do with the way that the audio mix is, where if, uh, you know, dialogue a lot of times can sound like, even if the character's right in front of you, if something else is going on, it can sound like it's kind of far away, but then they'll zoom in on the character and it'll be very clear. And just the way movies were, you know, the movies were shot and things and, and how the technology was back then. I, I don't really know how to explain that. I'm sure some of you guys have experienced it where like dialogue is super clear, then a little soft, then super clear again. It's almost like it's just different takes where they had the mics, how they did the audio mix with, you know, trying to mix in surround effects and things like that. So it's not a, a detractor, you know, it's something that they may have been able to clean up a little bit better if we had gotten a restored, uh, maybe an Atmos track or even like a 7.1 or if they had just, you know, remastered the audio here. But as far as I can tell, it's the same as the Blu-ray. And so you're not getting any audio upgrade. It's a good track, it's solid. The surround effects are, you know, in full effect. It, it, it does sound really nice. And I noticed a few uh, things that I hadn't noticed before watching this uh, for the first time. I haven't watched the Goonies in this theater setup before. And I noticed a few things and, you know, the side speakers are getting a pretty good workout. Music sounds good. But I would have liked uh, maybe to see a remastered audio track, but I can't really knock them for that. This is 5.1 DTS HD is more than most people even need, so I can't complain about it. Um, but they may have been able to take that and, and master the dialogue a little bit better, but that's being really nitpicky. Now for the packaging, this is the standard packaging slip cover here. Doesn't say anything about 35th anniversary or anything like that. Um, so no kind of special like note. And then obviously same on the inside, as you open it up, there is the Blu-ray disc and the uh, 4K disc. Neither of them have any artwork on them. Um, and it does come with a digital code as well as this. Um, it's got a free 14 day trial for HBO Max if you uh, want to try that out. Warner Brothers and HBO are, are connected somehow, I think. So that makes sense. They're putting that in some of their um, new titles. I think they, so something with those companies, they, they're connected to each other. But you know, it's a pretty basic uh, release. I noticed that all four of the ones I got today have this little WB on the spine. So that kind of lines up nicely on a shelf if you put them together, that's a little bit different. And uh, you know, it's pretty, pretty standard stuff. Now, if you get the gift set that comes with lots of extras, that's like a real true anniversary edition, but you're gonna pay almost triple for that release versus just buying the standard 4K. So you've gotta be a real super fan of the Goonies to go and get that one. Now the special features, I believe that all of these were available on the previous Blu-ray as well and there were no special features on the 4k disc but there is a commentary by director Richard Donner and some of the cast members there's a making of featurette Cindy Lauper's music video the Goonies are good enough 
outtakes and the theatrical trailer. So nothing really uh, that will blow you away here. And, you know, opening up the 4K disc, all you get is the option to um, play the movie, pick your subtitles, uh, play with your audio options, and do a scene selection. It's a pretty uh, bare bones 4K release, just the movie itself. So overall, what do I think about the Goonies on 4K? This one is a little bit of a tough sell. I don't think that this is one that you go and drop $20 on, honestly, or $25. It is available on September 1st, so I'm getting this out a few days early, so you guys may have pre-ordered it, but I, I really think that this is one that falls down into that $10 to $15 sweet spot, and you really gotta make sure that you have the right equipment for this. If you have a kind of lower grade TV, 100% make sure you're watching this in a dark room or you're gonna have issues with it. If you're watching it on a projector, make sure you're watching this in a very dark room. Even with the light reflecting screen I have, I have a fairly good projector from BenQ, one of their home theater 5550s, which is high end stuff. Projectors obviously don't handle black levels as good. If some of you guys out there who have the OLED TVs or some of the Samsung QLEDs, you'll probably have the best experience. That's where I had the best experience was on my Samsung QLED. Black levels were much better. So the picture quality is, is iffy on this and it's, it's not really the fault of Warner Brothers or the fault of the people who did the restoration. It's just a really dark movie and 4K makes it darker. If you can watch it in the right environment, it looks awesome. Blacks are super black. The gray uniformity is great. Everything is really solid. But if you can't watch it in that perfect environment, you might have some issues seeing what's going on. From the audio perspective, you're not getting much here. And that's another reason, especially with special features and this packaging, that this is probably a $10 to $15 title for me. I can't see you spending the money on release day. If you're a super fan, you want the best version of this you can get, this is it. But I think it'll drop in price, and if you're really a big super fan like that, you're probably better off getting the uh, gift set that comes with a lot more um, just goodies and stuff that, you know, as a collector, you can, um, you know, really enjoy as a super fan of Goonies. So the standard release, I think this is uh, $15 I'd bite. At $10, I would definitely bite. At $20, 25 I'm probably out on this one. So. That's where I stand right now. On release day, would I have gone out and bought this and upgraded it knowing what I know now? Probably not. I would wait for a sale. So thanks for watching, guys. I don't want to sound like I'm coming off too negative. It's a tough review. It's a really dark movie. There's a lot of really hard things you have to pay attention to when you do this stuff. You know, I'm by no means am I some restoration expert or anything. I just tell you what I see. I do the eye test. I put it on my screens. I tell you whether I like it or not. Most of you guys know that you usually agree with me. I don't have million dollar equipment or crazy expensive TVs and converters and, and calibration software and all that. I have what most people have in their homes, which is always why I went with films at home. I just, I always wanted to give that perspective from somebody who like me is a collector, who happens to have a decent home theater setup and a few nice TVs, but nothing over the top. And that's the kind of review I deliver to you. So hopefully I don't come off as negative, but I do want to be honest for all of you who out there who don't have thousands and thousands of dollars worth of equipment that this could be a tough experience for you in 4K. And hopefully this gives you some insight into how much you're willing to spend on this and you know maybe this is the one you upgrade your system for to really enjoy whatever works for you and your budget but i think at 15 dollars this is a buy otherwise i'm letting it slide but warner brothers did a great job the scenes that are bright they look incredible it looks really good i was so excited for the thirst first 30 minutes they didn't lose me with the rest of it because i ended up watching it in the right environment but it could have been better we could have had a better audio track I'm nitpicking, but it's probably like a 7 out of 10 as a 4K release. So I will leave a link to this down in the description if you purchased it through my link that helps support my channel. Also, make sure you're subscribed and like the video. Let me know in the comments what you think and if you guys will be picking this up. And also make sure to follow me on Instagram and check out all the other links down in the description. This is a great release from Warner Brothers, and I want to give them props for doing these types of movies that other studios may not do really popular stuff from the back catalog so props to them a solid release not their best though that's all it comes down to not their best but a good effort so thank you again for watching hope you guys have a great rest of your day i'll be back soon with more videos i promise they'll be coming a little bit faster than they were this past week or so so make sure you stay tuned for those i'll talk to you guys soon thank you for watching